And there's another thing on the on the um, cigars ritual. Uh, two things I'll finish on uh, on the ritual. So you have a brilliant thing <laughs> in your story. Two things. You've got remove the cap and you have the bullseye. So if you could explain the firstly to remove the cap and the importance of that in the ritual, the bullseye, and then this little bad boy after, which is um, I got off the back of watching you, ST Dupont, and the whole lighting cigar is a, a mini ritual in itself, isn't that correct? Basically, that's, of course, the cigar ritual starting at the moment you enter the cigar lounge, the, you know, did you have a dinner? What did you have for a dinner and all that? And then choosing the cigar, the right cigar for the right moment time. So there is a lot of things before, but I think we need at least 10 to 15 podcasts to explain, yeah. little, to explain a <laughs> little bit. But of course, that, that's my perspective. I really like to, yeah. to, to it, I think about every single detail in that, in that journey. So I really can talk about it a long time, but uh, let's say, let's, okay, you, 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 you did all that things. That's one of the reasons that I don't like social media is that now we're gonna talk about a cutting and people are gonna say, okay, cutting, but I said, there is a lot of things way before cutting that you should be done. So the cutting is just a, you know, one, one single move in that, in that journey, but that, that's okay. So that's, we that's choose the beauty, the That's the beauty of podcasts is we can get longer, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll do another one in the future, but yeah, just to, today, just a, a quick synopsis. Okay. okay, so, so basically we choose the cigar, everything we sit. So then basically the ritual starting cutting and lighting as the first as the first uh, thing that we should do to enjoy the cigar of course so basically the, the remove the cap it's uh, uh, I'm a professional in this sport let's say like that so and I know how the, the perfect cut how the good cut is important to be important very important to enjoy your cigar so you're going to stay with your cigar more than an hour but if you cut it wrong, the whole experience, the whole hour can be, you know, jeopardized. Let's say like that. So basically, the remove the cap, it's, I make that as a movement, as idea, because I want to, 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 to put attention on it and how important it is. And I'm really happy that you, the guy who lives, you know, 100 miles away from me, you know, have that in mind. And that's basically why I created it remove the cap I put it something interesting let's remove the cap so I see how the people will react everybody reacts good and then I have attention on the cutting of the cigar which is very 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 important so when you start your journey when you cut your cigar the way how you cut it the way how the cigar it's uh, it's rolled there is a lot of rules you know which line you should not cross how you cut it and all that we can we can talk about it in one in, in some other interviews, but uh, but the perfect cut, the perfect cut at cigar, gonna give you, you know, more enjoyable taste, the mouth feel and all that than the cigar that it's not perfectly cut. If you cut it too deep, that means that the, the wrapper, the the, the 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 leaf that goes around the cigar, can unreal mm. slowly because you cut it on the very it's it's a little bit hard to explain right now on the without a cigar show. I've done that. I've made that mis mistake before. <laughs> so yeah. So basically, it can it can happen, and then the whole the whole day you have to hold the whole time you have to hold the cigar and all that. So it's it's kind of and and the second thing you really want to keep that little bit rounded edges when you cut your cigar because if you if you also cut it too deep then the end gonna be the right angle so when you take the cigar out of your mouth it's gonna be too sharp for your for your lips to taste uh, and of course the the if you don't cut it too much if you don't open wide the draw it can be the problem with the draw mm. so there's a lot of things that can be wrong with the, with the, with the cutting the cigar of course when you have the in, in, in your case, you have the pyramid shape. There is two shapes, correct? There is a parejo, the regular one that we have the most often. And there is a pyramid, one that looks like a 
torpedo or pyramidal, whatever you want to call it. So also that, that shape you should open just like a five, six millimeters from the end because you don't want to open the whole thing. You don't want to cut the whole, the whole, uh, the whole pyramidal shape because you really want to keep that shape because somebody made the cigar to be enjoyed that way. So you really need to open just a little bit, five, six millimeters from the end and, uh, and, uh, and that should be fine. So, so basically that's it, you know, the, the remove the cap, it's, and of course I use the knife a lot of time to show people, you know, how the, the, the construction of the cigar to understand when you just cut it a little bit on the edge and you remove the cap, the cigar yeah. will be perfectly open. You don't have to put the whole cigar inside your cutter, squeeze it and all that destroying. And of course, I don't want to mention if, if the cigar is a little bit dry or it's aged, the, 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 the wrapper, the leaf that goes around the cigar, it's more fragile. So it's really, it can really damage the cigar. So basically remove the cap. And especially when I do it with a knife, it's, it's made only to bring the tension of the good cut. So I didn't know how to, of course, you tell people just, you know, pay attention on your cut, but it didn't work. So remove the cap, really give that boom uh, on, the, on, the, on the social media and really give people attention. So the next thing that you mentioned is the bullseye. So the bullseye, after you cut your cigar, after you remove the cap, mm. you need to light the cigar. So there is a couple of ways you can cut your cigar. There is a torch light like, your, like yourself. There is a matches regular one. There is a cedar stick. And let's say there is a regular butane gas lighter. So what kind of flame you don't want to use is the flame that have any kind of odor, like a Zippo lighter, like a candles with uh, you know, the, the, the smelly candles like this. Mm -hmm. So those kind of flames you don't want to use because you definitely don't want to smoke, you know, anything that have a flavor really can affect your cigar. So the butane gas, it's, it's odorless, so it's, it's, it's good to go. So when you're using the, 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 the technique, doesn't matter is it matches or is it torchlight, there is a lot of things that you, you should worry about and that's if you put your flame too close to cigar can burn the wrapper. It can be all black and charcoal around it. That also can affect the flavor. So you really have to be, you know, the let's say the the, the tranquilo. When I says tranquilo, you know, tranquility. Take it easy. You know, really enjoy the process. And the bullseye that I also put in a focus. It's when you're using the torchlight, when you're burning only the edges, only the outside the circle. So you basically, from the, <clears throat> you basically just want to make a circle burn without burning it inside. And uh, one of the reasons that I also like to put that outside, if you just burn your cigar inside and not outside, then you can have the uneven burn because the cigar always burn from outside to inside never from inside to outside. So if you have a, if you have your, uh, if you have a, your cigar and if you burn it, all the edges around it, if you make that circle perfect, and when you take a couple of puffs, the cigar eventually gonna burn Brilliant. inside. And then of course, one or two puffs, you're gonna have that bullseye. So, but if you write, if I light my cigar inside, and not all the edges, and I take a couple of puffs, then the cigar, maybe one side is gonna be burned, another one not gonna be burned. And then you already on the very beginning have an uneven burn, and then you have to catch it, and you have to fix it and all that. So if you have the bullseye, it means that you're 100% have a cigar properly lit. So you're on the safe side. And I, so basically that's that, those two things, that social media likes. So we have a, uh, remove the cap, we have a bullseye. And I'm also starting to bring the, the third one slowly. And that's gonna be the time between the puffs. How frequently you take the puff. 
that one gonna be very difficult for me to 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 put it outside because it's not uh, let's say it's not fancy because the bullseye when you take it you know it's yeah. you really have the, you you can you can make something on a video you can make something on social media of course remove the cap very interesting everybody likes it it, it those two things was you know let's say I don't want to say easy to put it outside but I find the way to to wrap it and to to place it on the social media but the the time between the the puffs it's for me it's also important like bullseye and the remove the cap because the 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 the, the how frequently you you know you take the puffs it's going to determine your taste the, the 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 cooler the smoke the bigger the break the more the aromas you get more frequently you enjoy you get heated up less aroma more and 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 you're going to have the more bitterness and and spiciness and all that it's very very important and and, and people don't understand that to you know but if if I have a chance, just to explain that. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I'm enjoying this. Definitely. Okay, okay. So the cigar, like any gastronomic, let's say that uh, uh, thing, is it is it food, wine, whatever? Everything have a you know temperature to be served. Correct. Correct. Chicken soup, have a perfect temperature. Ice cream, have a perfect temperature. Red wine have a perfect temperature. So I always, that's how I try to explain people when they says, oh, it's not so nice. I says, okay. Now, the chicken soup, it's like a 40, 50 degrees, whatever is it. So you need to enjoy it very hot, correct? Mm. Now put your favorite chicken soup in the, in, in the fridge, leave it over there for two hours and then eat it. I don't think so. That's yeah. gonna be the most disgusting thing ever you drink. Okay. Red wine. So the red wine should be enjoyed between, you know, 15, 17, depends on the, on, the, on the grape varieties, but just go outside 35 degrees, put the red wine on the sun and put it in your glass and enjoy it. What are you gonna drink? You're just gonna drink the alcohol that's gonna hit you right away, correct? So, yeah. so the same thing with the cigar. The cooler the smoke, so the cooler the smoke, the more aromas you're gonna get, but it's a little bit hard to understand because we have the we have the we have the fire on the on the you know yeah Ex the cigar. explain that cooler. What does that mean? So basically, the only way that you can enjoy your cigar cooler is to make a bigger break between the puffs. Okay, I get you. Yeah. So with your next cigar, do it like this: you light the cigar take a couple of puffs, the cigar, it's ignite, everything is working, and then make a break two minutes between the puffs. That's mm -hmm. around two minutes. So when you put a stopwatch on two minutes, it says, wow, this is too long. You know, some people will say, what? Me, I'm doing every 30 seconds, you know, like, and that's, 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 that's for me the next, next task 